Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We welcome you in, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We welcome you in, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yahweh, Yeshua, El Shaddai, Shekinah glory, Adonai, Rama Elohim, Mikitotura Ramakata Shama, Lebrebe Bedurama El El Young, Yerushakata Rabakatai. We invite you in, Holy Ghost fire. Roku Dala Masikita Nana Masikita. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Enter your mindsets. Hallelujah. Let the things of God enter into your mindsets. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on in the room. And I'm talking about glory to God. Bring your mindset into the room so God can transform it. Come on. Holy Ghost fire. We welcome you in this place. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Rise up today, O oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. A new level of anointing is about to hit the room. For the woman of God, Reke Kala Masiki and Namasu, Reke Ketana, no, 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 Shiki in the Namande, Lebre Besiku Mai Kanama Kataya, Hala Rosha, Renanaman Seketana Bakota Baba Basi. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. God of everything, we thank you, Lord. We hallelujah your holy name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for you are the great I am. You are the healer. Glory to God. I'm excited. To, hallelujah. I am so excited about hallelujah this evening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have a new voice in the atmosphere. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the woman of God brings fire hallelujah jesus she do what she comes to do and then she uh, steps back and let the enemy be destroyed hallelujah jesus come on y'all let's get it in the order in the order in the order the divine order glory to god welcome 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 Glory to God. I was about to say welcome to the blood still work, and it does, but tonight is PLMI Prayer Life Ministry International Bible Study. Glory to God, and we welcome you all in tonight. Let's get our worship going. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you can show your face on the screen, then do so just in, especially in this worship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If not, no worries. To God be the glory. Come Come on, let's, let's forget about yesterday. Let's forget about five minutes ago. Let's step into the things of God in the name of Jesus. It's time to switch your mindset. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Holy Ghost fire. We thank you, Holy Ghost Fire. We thank you, Holy Ghost Fire. Your answers are yes and amen, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Ghost Fire. We thank you, Holy Ghost Fire. We thank you, Holy Ghost Fire. Your answers are yes and amen, Jesus. Hola la na si adoroso. Come on in the room, Holy Spirit. Come on in the room and saturate your healing, your healing power, your loving power in the room. I already hear in the realm of the Spirit, the chains are breaking. Glory to God. 
The woman of God has not even spoken yet and chains are already shifting. Chains are already breaking. Hallelujah, Jesus. They're already breaking. They're already breaking. They're already breaking. They're already breaking. And not only are they breaking, they're shattering. I don't know what it looked like for you in the position that you were in before you entered into this room, but I need you. Holy Spirit needs you to shut all of that down and let him in. Close all that away and let him in. As a matter of fact, he wants you to bring it to him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to shed off these dead clothes and you got to shed off this mummification on you. Hallelujah. Some of you are so wrapped in mummification. Some of you are so dead right now. Some of you feeling like I cannot breathe. As we know, in mummification, they cover all, everything, all of Jesus. And you're saying, they somebody buried me alive. But God said, I'm calling you out, Lazarus. Come forth in the name of Jesus. 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 And shed all those dead clothes. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Some of you are enduring some pain right now, some hurt, some, hallelujah, some things are disgusting you, some things are making you upset, some things are making you uncomfortable in the realm. But when the Lord said trials and tribulations come to make you strong, so come to make you strong, so you got to forget those things that are behind you and press towards the mark of the high calling in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'm excited about what God is doing in this hour. Glory to God, because Jesus is the center of my joy. Tonight, make Jesus the center of your joy. Make him the center of your anger. Make him the center of your rage. Make him the center of your unforgiveness. Make him the center of your pain. Make him the center of your lack. Make him the center, glory to God, of, of your physical and spiritual pain. Make him the center of your brokenness. Why do I say that? Thank you for asking me. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when you make him the center, he will take it all away in Jesus' name. Make him the center. Make him your ruler. Make him your strength. Come to him at all times. Hallelujah. Let praises be continually in your mouth. Continue to bless his name. Even when the when, even when the enemies surround you. Hallelujah. You say, God, come get me. Come save me. Hallelujah, Messiah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for entering in tonight, entering into this place. Enter into this space. Holy Ghost fire, burn it all out, God. Melt their complacency. <clears throat> Melt their complacency. Melt their, their, their hurtfulness like a volcano. When a volcano explodes, everything in the way of the lava gets eaten up, gets devoured. So whatever you got going on in the realm, hallelujah, of this earth, this part, I need you to go to another realm and see, look down and put everything that you have, you have been going through in the way of the lava. Let it consume because God is a consuming fire. And then as it does, roar, lion, roar in the name of Jesus. Y'all, this is worship. Come on, y'all worship with me. Y'all worship with me. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Shekinah glory. It's you, God. You are mine and mine forever. Abba, Adonai, we love you. Hallelujah. And so, Father, I pray for the woman of God, Evangelist Italia, God. 
Lord, touch her right now, God. Stir in her belly, God. Let her pour out her rivers of water rushing in. Hallelujah. To wash away all that. To wash away all of the dirt. To wash away all the pain. To wash away all your lack. To wash your way your complacency. To wash away your illegal state in the earth. To wash away every demon that try to come and easily beset you. Glory to God that you'll understand when she speaks that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. When she speaks, you'll understand that we're not fighting against flesh. Sometimes we want to fight against people we're looking at, but it's not them. It's the enemy that's standing in between you and them that make it look like something that it's not. But when we stay in worship, I believe the woman of God is going to talk on an amansa. He, she, when she speaks this word, it's going to help you revival in your spirit. It's going to help you not care about what other people are saying. It's not. It's going to help you only care about what God is saying. It's going to help you when people try to rev you up uh, to go into a secret place with him in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your holy righteous name for you are mighty God, your Elohim. And without further ado, we give access to the woman of God. The next voice you'll hear, Evangelist Talia Gomez in Jesus' name as she steps into the realm glory to God and Holy Spirit begins to stir her up in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God amen giving honor to God who's ahead of my life pastor and I don't see him but to my pastor and uh, prophets uh, thank you for this opportunity um, to all of the prayer life ministry leaders and everyone else in their respective places. Um, I give God glory for this opportunity and I'm going to go ahead and dive into it right now. Um, I have two verses that I want to start with, but uh, God gave me a couple of different verses and I pray that I'm able to get this across the way he gave it to me. So I'm going to give it to you how he gave it to me and I just pray that you, you get what you need out of it. Okay, <laughs> um, so the first verse that I, I, I got uh, that God gave me, he actually gave me this verse. He gave me these two verses last week when he was telling me about pivoting. But um, it says um, this one is Isaiah 45 in uh, second verse. Um, it says, I will go before before thy and make thy crooked place straight. And that's Isaiah 50, uh, uh, 45 and two. And the other one is. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. And that was Proverbs six or three and six. So those are the two passages that stuck out um, with me since last week. Um, when he and he com he's converted some messages for me to some other messages. So um, I know that this is Bible study, but I'm I'm not your. I guess I'm just a little different. You know, God made me different. So uh, again, it's. And that's just who I am now. So I no longer worry about being different. I no longer worry about get whatever I say, whatever God gives me. This is how it works for me. So I pray that you get what you what you're what you're looking for in this message. So um, again, God will go before you and make your your crooked um, place to straight. So God has already prepared a place for you. He's already paved the path for you. It's already straight for you. It's already ready for you. It's easy for you. He's already done it for you. As long as you acknowledge him and let and, and follow the path that he's directed for you, everything will be okay. So it's okay to go on that path. So that was what, what he gave me. It's, it's okay. He got you. That's pretty much what he's saying. I got you. This this I already got the path for you. I've already paved the way for you. It's straight. So the only reason why it would be a little offset is because you don't obey my word and you forget to acknowledge me. But it's a straight path already. So you don't have to worry. It's a straight path. It's a straight path. And there was another verse he gave me. I'm going to be jumping around, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm, I got to give you this one, too. Matthew uh, 6 and 34. It says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So that was another one. He, he already directed your path, so don't worry about what's going to happen the next day. I already got you. It's a straight path. I got you. So the title of what he gave me was come out of the blocks. That's that's what he gave me. I used to run track. 
and I'm going to give y'all a story real quick before I even go into it. But um, I was in high school and I was running track and we have blocks. You know, you ha you know, if you know what the track blocks are, you put you bend down and you put your feet in them. And then you, you when they when they shoot the pistol, you take off. So it's coming out of the blocks. So I was um, at conference at a conference meet and I did not I was I was un, I felt like I didn't have enough I felt like I wasn't worthy enough to be at a conference meet to let alone go to a state meet so I was self-conscious and I felt like people were looking at me and and I didn't look like everybody else so um but I was a really good runner and as a teammate in a in a um in a in a group I would run really really well they would be like well how you run so fast with everybody else but by yourself you don't run fast so to make a long story short, I made it to conference and I and I made it to the next heat. And then um, this next heat was for me to be able to go to state. So in this heat, I was so afraid to, to proceed to state that when I got into my heat, I, I slowed down and I let I knew a girl that I always beat. I figured if I can get behind her, she would beat me. And I knew that I wasn't going to go any further. So I allowed myself to get beat. I, I I put a lot of stuff on me. I let fear cause me to, to stop. And I let fear allow me to let someone I knew I beat all the time. Every, the whole school year I was beating her. But I allowed fear to allow me to just to lose. To, to make, and then after that, she went to state and she made it to state. And she, was, she ran in state. She was like the 20th person, the 20th fastest person in the state. But my fear blocked me from going to state because I was afraid I was going to lose, not realizing that if I went to state and I became the, the 15th person, I would be the 15th fastest person in the state of Florida as a high school girl. So that is how the enemy can block you from blessings. He will he will cause fear in your life. He will bring anger in your life. He will bring different things in your life to prevent you that make you not even go on the path or come out of those blocks. So I felt like at that point in my life, I did not come out of the blocks. I stayed in the blocks because I allowed fear to stop me. But again, God has already said that he's made a he's made the, the cricket path straight for you. And you don't have to worry about it because he got you. So he brought me to a story. So I got another verse I want to give y'all. And I'm going to read this to you. It was 1 Samuel 17, 4 and 7. He gave me this. 1 Samuel 17, 4, and 7. And this is about David and Goliath. Um, so it's a champion named Goliath, who was from, Ga from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp. His height was six cubits and a span. He had a bronze helmet and on his head and wore a coat of scale armor of bronze weighing 5,000 shekels. On his legs, he wore bronze graves and a bronze javelin was slung on his back. His spear shaft was like a weaver's rod and its iron point weighed 600 shekels. His shield bearer went ahead of him. So that's that's describing an obstacle. That's describing something that David had to face that obstacle. David had to face the giant and they described how big it was and how tall he was and how much armor he had and how powerful he was. He was a champion. He So a champion mean I, I done beat up some stuff. I done won a whole bunch of victories. So when you get ready to come to me, you already know that I'm a champion and you looking at this situation physically defeated because I am a champion. So you're afraid to come out of the blocks. So a lot of times in life, we allow stuff to keep us in the blocks. We allow stuff to make us throw races. When it comes to anger, we go to sleep angry, we wake up angry. We go to sleep mad, we wake up mad. We go to sleep hurt, we wake up hurt. We go to sleep just not wanting to wake up and we still wake up wanting to go back to sleep. So we allow ourselves to be defeated because we mad, we angry, we hurt. We, we feel like we, we, we almost to the point where we are idolizing those things in our life. Some people, you know them because, oh, they go mad, Stacy. You are identified by what you feel and what you express and what you ooze but I, but some of us we, we're, some of us are angry oh they go angry they go angry Jeff we we they don't know us by who we are they don't know us by who God has called us 
because we're still stuck in those blocks when it comes to whatever we are holding on to. We feeding the negativity instead of feeding into the spiritual part of our life. Every day we wake up mad and I'm going to feed my madness or every day I wake up and I'm angry or sad or lonely and I'm going to feed that. So we have to realize that that God, as long as we acknowledge him, he will direct our path because if in God is love. So if you are angry, if you are mad, if you're feeling like I'm sick in my body and I just can't do any better, if we acknowledge God, when we come out of those blocks, God will direct your path and his, his path is not going to be towards anything negative. He's going to help you come out of those blocks and you're going to be able to leave behind whatever it is that's holding you back, whatever the hate is. Just imagine every year, every year I get up and I'm, um, I, I get through it and this, this last week as well. Every year I, 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 I put it down. I'm like, God, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to come out of these blocks. I'm going to trust you, God. And I go around that, that, that whole, I, I make one loop around the, um, the, um, the track field. I make one loop around and I see, I pass by what God allowed me to sit down. And I, I'm still like, God, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to take another lap. And I pass by what I sat down because I don't want it anymore. And I'm, but I'm still looking at it. And then I run past it again and I pick it back up this time. While after I've been able to get out of these blocks, this is when you're able to get out of these blocks. But then sometimes the enemy will put that back in the way of your your path and you pick it back up. So we have to learn to give that stuff to God so that we no longer pick it back up. Because aren't we sick and tired of three years later being angry for the same stuff we were mad at three years ago? Aren't we sick and tired of being broke like we were broke 10 years ago? Aren't we sick and tired of finding a wrong mate again that did us dirty again because we didn't allow ourselves to acknowledge God so he will direct our path to wherever we need it to go. He will direct your path away from the anger and the hurt. He will help you. He will equip you as long as you, that, as long as you acknowledge him, as long as you seek after him. He will equip you. And that was another analogy that God gave me. When David was fighting that giant, that that string that he had, that rock that he had, and that um that stick that he had didn't seem very significant in a giant, especially when it says he had a, like strong, he was a champion. Like whatever, sometimes I feel like praise and worship might not be enough to get over this battle that 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 is in front of us to help us get out of these blocks. We can't get out of these blocks because we so we so scared, we so. We're so nervous. We can't. We can't. We take. We can't take the next step to this new job or career. Uh, we can't do what we want to do. We can't say what we want to say. We can't prepare for what God is ready for us to go into because we are afraid of it. We look at it. It's our Goliath. He he has a big span. He's a champion. He has big bronze armor on. He has a javelin. You know, it's it's so big. It's so big. But you never realize that a little itty bitty rock. A little itty bitty rock, a little itty bitty rock could pierce him and knock him down. So your praise, your worship, your reading the word is all you need. That could be your little bitty rock. That could be your little bitty string and your little bitty stick. When you tie that little bitty string to that little bitty stick and sling that little bitty rock, it'll slay a big giant. You won't look, it doesn't look like it is it, it, it's gonna be able to do it, but it will do it. So tie that string and that, that stick together and you sling that rock at the enemy with your praise and you tell him I'm no longer going to be angry I'm no longer going to let my Goliath make me afraid to be able to come out of these blocks God I'm going to acknowledge you God I'm not going to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow got enough worries for itself I'm going to praise you today I ain't going to worry about how sad I um, I might be tomorrow I'm not going to throw this race because I could have been I could have won this race I'm not going to allow the enemy to block me from what 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 you have planned for me and that, that's the same thing with, with a pastor and prophetess. If they wouldn't have got out of the blocks, we wouldn't be here today. That's the same thing with Minister Jacqueline. If she wouldn't have got out of the blocks, she wouldn't be where she at today. That's the same way with me. I started out walking to my job. 
Then I started driving to my job and now I'm driving to my business. If I wouldn't have got out of the blocks, I would have still been walking to my job. So sometimes we got to pull out that rock, that stick and that string, and we got to speak to that giant. We got to slang that rock at that giant. And that rock is your praise. That's your worship. That's your seeking God. God, I need you. God, you, 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 you throw it into the pits of hell for me, God, because no longer am I going to allow the giant to stop me from going towards my purpose. You've equipped me with what I need. Just like it don't seem like it, God. But I got to worship inside of me. I got to praise inside of me. I'm going to I'm going I'm going to dig deep and I'm going to ask you to help me so that I can come out of those blocks and I can and I can serve you and go towards you, God. So that that was what God had gave me when it comes to that. And then another thing. We see people in, in the races now. We, we still in these blocks and we see other people that we were racing against. They elevating. They getting titles. They moving on. They financially being blessed. And then we looking at them like, God, why you can't do that for me? But that you got to do, you got to do the work. You're going to have to, you're going to have to trust God. You're going to have to take a step. You got to come out the blocks. You can't get none. You can't get, you can't get elevation. You can't get a title still stuck in the blocks. God needs to, God, faith without, God need to see that you working it. You can't just say, God, I trust you. And that's that, that's that shack faith asking for a mansion. God, I trust you for, I tr God, I, I'm asking you for a mansion, but I only trust you for a shack. You can't sit back in the blocks and expect God to elevate you if you still sitting in the blocks because you blocked by whatever it is that you still holding on to. So God said, give it to me. Give me all your burdens. Give me, give me all the heavy laden. Give it to me and I will give you the rest. I will direct you. He's he telling you, he, the Bible explained it out to you. I'm going to make your crooked path straight. If you acknowledge me, I will direct your path. Give me your burdens. I'll make it light for you. He he telling you, every, don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow has enough to worry about for itself. You just trust me today and you see how I get you out of the blocks. So that that was it. God, and, you, and if you want that title, come out of the blocks. If you want to be invited to different things, come out of the blocks. If you want to bond, create new uh, leaders, uh, you want to be a great leader, come out of the blocks. You're going to have to do something different. It might be the same situation you living in that you was living in 10 years ago. But to, the difference is today, you're not who you were the day before because you are praising God in a different way. You're seeking God. You've learned how to use that rock, that stick and that string to slay whatever the enemy is putting in front of you. And the situation don't look good, but your mindset is different. That's what it is, that your mindset is different because I trust God. I trust God. There's no way that I could have made it to where I was if I didn't trust God. Because if I didn't trust God, I would still be walking to a job instead of driving to my business. So I just thank God for that. And today, I might not have but two pennies. I might not have but two pennies in them starting blocks. Two pennies. I had nothing in that starting block. I had nothing in that starting block. But I trust God. And he reminded me that he was going to meet all of my needs. God, and I'm telling you, the, the word will tell you, it, it, it'll speak to your soul. It'll speak to every situation. He reminded me and he's reminding you that he will meet all of your needs. As long as you acknowledge him, give it to him. Don't let it block you from coming out of the blocks. Do not let it block you from coming out of the blocks. <laughs> So Goliath, he was a prominent fig figure. So that that was it. Our situations, they're prominent figures. Um, and we hold on to them. We're afraid of them. Um, so just trust God. You got to trust God. And the, the best way to just lean into it and just study his word, worship him, seek after him. You have to. You got to give it all you got. You, you, you got to make the time. I, I know at the beginning when I was reading, I was like, God, why you got me reading about the birth of Jesus? I know about the birth of Jesus. But God spoke to me in that day that I've heard for, from, my, from birth. He spoke to me in different ways, several times, different messages. So God will speak to you through the word. It might not seem significant at the time, but I was reading it and it said Joseph had to move and Joseph had to move again. And Joseph had to move again because they was trying to kill Jesus. And then Joseph had to move again. And God came to him and said, Joseph, move again. God will tell you when it's time to move. That's all that that right there. That That's all I needed in the time. Because I had, God, I need you to tell me what you need me to do. I need to know when I need to move. And God sent me to the, the, the birth of baby Jesus. And I was like, God, how the birth of baby Jesus going to tell me what to do? 
because I got all of these questions and all of these people coming at me, God. I don't, what, how am I supposed to do this? I read, I, God, I'm going to open it up. You said, go here and read the word. I'm going to read the word. And in that word, he told me what to do. He will direct your path as long as you seek after him and you follow his instructions. He already told me that the path was already prepared for me. And that's exact. I, I list God, I need to know where to go. Okay, go this way, baby. God, I need to know what's going to happen. I feel a little sad right now. I need you to pivot to the left right now, baby. Go ahead and pivot to the left. I got you. I got you. I got you on this path. Just seek me. Acknowledge me. And I'm going to direct it. God, there's something. It, I, that anger coming back on me again. I'm feeling like I want to carry it for another 10 years. God, baby, I need you to pivot to the right. I need you to go into a secret place. I need to cleanse you. God will direct your path through the word. He will direct your path through the word. So in this, I won't be before y'all long. Let me make sure I got a little excited. So let me, let me read something. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I, I in, in your process, when you leave out of the blocks, you might get a little tired. You might get a little weary. Uh, Psalms 105. Um, the fourth chapter, look to the Lord in, in his strength, seek his face always. He'll give you strength. He's telling you right there. You'd like, God, I'm tired. I don't know what to do. Look to him. He'll give you strength. You, the worship will give you feel like you're just empowered. The worship will make enemies flee. The worship will change your mindset. It'll be the same situation, but your mindset is different. And you like, God, I got this. God, I'm not going to rah, rah back. God, I'm just going to see, I'm going to seek you. I'm going to be quiet, God. I'm going to be slow to speak, God. I'm going to be slow to anger, God. God, you, he, he tell, he, he'll, he'll speak that into your life. He'll give you the instructions as long as you seek after him. As long as you seek after him. So I got a question for y'all. I got a question. So what's stopping you from coming out of the blocks? What's stopping you from coming out of the blocks? whatever it is in your life and it, it don't have to be what happened to you a long time ago it could be something now that you're faced with what's stopping you from coming out of the blocks what's stopping you from walking into your full purpose what's stopping you from working at your full potential god i want this god i've been asking you for this but i can't get it that's because you, you you're letting a goliath in your life make you not come out of the blocks you're not a, you're not using the equipment that god has given you to slay those giants which is his word, which is your worship, which is which is your praise. When you when you put all of that together, that's that that praise is that rock. That worship is that stick. And that word is that string. And when you put all three of them together, you can't help but win with God. God will give you the power and the strength to do it. So so uh, and this was another thing that I um I wanted to say. And then I'm gonna turn it over to um turn it over back over to the leaders. Um just to speak over your life and, and, and ask God for this. Father, I ask that you demolish every hurdle, every wall, every roadblock that the enemy has erected to prevent our forward progress from leaving the blocks. The word I to speak into the into into our Goliath so we can be victorious. So I encourage you to pull out that rock that stick and that string and come out of the blocks and slay your giants leap over those walls jump over those hurdles because god has equipped you to be able to do it i turn it back over to first lady hallelujah oh another one bites the dust <laughs> you done killed that devil woman of god very, very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. You know, if I was to go backwards, when you ask what's stopping you uh, from coming out of the blocks, and before I do that, make sure that you, that prayer, that demolished prayer you put in there, put that in the on the uh, Prayer Life Ministries room. Um, there's, an, there's an assignment for them with that. Uh, so we want, I'm going to want you to put that in there. Um, and, and you and I will talk about what the assignment is. Glory to God. Because I'm not going to let y'all know right now. <laughs> that was very powerful. Um, what's stopping you from coming out of the blocks? Come out of the blocks. Let me tell y'all. 
when you are in when you are in the midst of all these things she mentioned and you're staying right there you're committing adultery against god you're committing idolatry you're committing rebellion which is witchcraft i'm just gonna give you straight up i have to come back that way because i feel god on that when you allow those things to be your hindrances for years and you allow something super simple to destroy your opportunity to enter into the kingdom, you are God is, is your fault because you're because God can do anything but fail. And so so when he does, when he's an impossible God and things look impossible for you. Like they told David. Like the giant even said, David, you a cute little man. You're a little handsome little thing. In other words, I'm getting ready to mess up that face. You sure you want to do this? But if David had not uh, remembered that God put him there, he probably would have messed up his face. The giant probably would have toyed with him and treated him like a little soccer ball on his knee and thumped him around a little bit and then finally broke him in half. But you got to come out of the blocks. Oh, man. I just, I was like, no, I'm sitting here going, I'm getting the cramp. Because I'm like, let me. <laughs> it was so good and so prophetic. There's a prophetic word that just came out of here, y'all. Glory to God. We had another one, the woman, the woman that got Mr. Jacqueline uh, last week, the, the whale. Oh, my God. So it's just prophetic words just coming. Y'all need to take these prophetic words. Y'all need to go back and watch these words and take them for what God is doing. Um, always acknowledge him. Uh, now, God told me to go to, um, go to your, um, let's see, go to see Isaiah 42. And I'm going to, I'm going to let, we're going to go through our little thing, but let me, let me just get these couple of, these couple, couple of notes couple of that's what we said couple of notes um and listen to this making your cricket pass straight and and the amplified version of 45 and 2 i will go before you and level the mountains that's heavy they just take us up to another ram woman of god evangelist prophet prophetic voice in, in you uh, i will go before you and level the mountains see i pray this prayer y'all i will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron so that means that if there's a prison before you i'm here to bust you out of prison but you gotta let me i'm i'm already making it i'm i'm leveling mountains for you I'm shattering doors of bronze, y'all. Bronze is a very, very, very thick, 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 thick metal, right? And cut through the bars of iron because that's who God is. So, um, and then I got a little sermon about it is uh, evangelist from the God, if you don't mind using, facing your giant, not fearing your giant. Ooh. Facing your giant, not fearing your giant. Be identified by our persona. Now that's good because some of us do. You you look at somebody, you go, Lord, they go, um, negative Nancy. Jesus, she gets on my nerves. Every time she opens up her mouth, she just she just exudes dirt and negative garbage. And she just, she always, you know, whatever. And then and then the next time you hear her, she 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 at church shouting hallelujah like God is so good and He's great and this is great this is God. But then you go and you catch on the outside and she's like, oh yeah, I married that stupid man. Yo, know, he get on my nerve. Oh, I'm Sally Mae. She always get her hair done uh, or her nails and I always like, girl hush. <laughs> You don't want to be known by that. I want to be known. Like when I come around, you ain't just knowing me for my different hair changes. You're knowing me for the praise, the worship, the prophecy, the hammer, the fire starter, the one who loves Jesus, a leader of our own, of, of Jesus kind. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, um, fire, a healing woman of God, glory carrier, sweet, kind woman. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to be known, man of God. 
You want to be known. Uh, he's a man of valor. Every time he come around and open up his mouth, I want to hear what he got to say. It's like um, uh, he got the Midas touch. Glory to God. That's what you want to be known as. You don't want to be known as angry. And not only that, the Bible says angry do not sin. That means he give you permission to have anger. But you, where your sin is when you step into rebellion. Your sin is when you start acting up. Your sin is when you start forgetting that God is in charge. Your sin is the one thing you said, woman of God, not spending time with him, not getting your praise and worship in, staying in the blocks. If you stay in the blocks, and I know the blocks you're talking about when you get ready to get started and they shoot that gun and you stay right there, guess who's going to lose today? Because you're so comfortable right there. You're afraid. You're afraid if you take off. Remember, y'all, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it going, and then I'm going to come back to my other notes. I want somebody else to have a chance. But remember the, I don't know if anybody remember the young lady. They talked about her being, uh, I think she's an American lady. I forgot her name. She's an American. She's part of the, uh, um, the United States. And they was like, oh, she just this runner that always get lagged behind. They looked for the Jamaican lady to go up first. They was like pumping her up. They was like, this Jamaican, she always winning. She's always in the, the moment and da-da-da. And then, but they, and in between, there were other ones that were really good. But this particular girl, they was like, well, she barely made it this way and barely that and barely blah, blah, blah. And it, this woman of God did not let that stop her and keep her in the blocks. And she won. She said, oh, oh my God. Oh. And she did that for about 20 minutes until she realized, wait a minute, I have won the victory. And that's the thing you got to do. You cannot stop. And when you hear and see other people putting other people up there, you got to be able to say, uh-uh. I'm not hearing now that noise. I'm focusing on the prize. I'm putting all of that stuff back here behind the blocks. So when I come out of the blocks, I hit my victory. And not only did she get victory, she had the highest score in history for that. And I'm getting it all, you know, twisted in. But you can do it too, Punchinella. So. Before we, um, I continue on with all of this, it was so good, so powerful. She went in two piece. Now, if any of y'all, um, uh, I'm going to call you if you haven't think you don't have to speak. I promise, it's not. It's okay if you say it's all good, then it's all good. Uh, but what's stopping you from coming out of the blocks? Come out of the blocks. The woman of God said, Holy Spirit told her. So I believe she spoke from the Spirit. So I'm going to start with. Um, I'm just looking at my screen. I want to start with uh, Minister Terrence. Do you have uh, anything? to add or you're good because I know you were at work I think it looks like you were at work okay uh and I'm gonna go, and if he opens I'll come back to him I want to go with um yeah oh. good. um blessings uh yeah I'm good um wow wow evangelist guy wow that's all I can say wow uh, you wrote that thing down like that a baby can understand. Uh, I give honor to the Lord who is the head of my life. Uh, my Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for my sin and has rose on the third day just for me. For you guys too, but I'm talking about for me. Uh, so um, <clears throat> I give honor to Apostle Dex there and his lovely wife, Prophet Hope Paul. Um, I give honor to my wife, Tanisha. Um, also, I just want to um, suggest uh, you did something to me when you were talking about them blocks coming out the blocks because I remember a time when when I ran track and um, it's not only how you come out the blocks you have to be you have to be equipped to come out the blocks. So so uh, we had to study uh, because it's easily to to be disqualified if if you move any type of way coming out the blocks. So you have to you have to study this day in order to because if you pay attention to your opponent, the people are all around you, you begin to 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 lose. You begin to jump before time. Oh my God. And you hit something that was so key 
that uh, we uh, we do. I know I was there before. We do get fearful uh, of the person that around us, um, uh, and we get fearful even with ourselves because we feel like we cannot um, we cannot win the race. We cannot win the battle. But like you said, with Christ, we can win anything. So 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 that that was just so powerful to me. How how you how you broke that thing down. And I, I can tell you, my God, my, 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 I'm just feasting off this thing right now because let, <coughs> let today, excuse me, let, uh, let tomorrow worry about itself. We should not be worrying about it. So, so I think, I think that was just right on time. The word was so rich and so powerful. Um, I'm telling you that right there. That's really, just really did something to me coming out the blocks and when we come out the blocks in christ we come out victorious and the only way we can come out victorious we've got to study to show ourselves approval unto him workly not to uh workly divided the word of truth so we have to stay embedded in his word we got to study we got to meditate no matter what we experience and no matter what we're going through uh even even coming out the blocks of of situations and circumstances of things that we feel like we don't that we cannot we cannot come out but God said, it is, you come out the blocks. So, so in throwing rocks, uh, that was good too, throwing rocks. Oh, my God. I, I tell you, God really, really spoke to you on that one. And, I, and that was that was really good. So thank you for the word, woman of God. And I ask God to continue to bless you and keep you and continue to let you continue to run on. Run on. Don't, don't, don't give in. Don't give out. Just continue to run on. So that's all I have. I just wanted to share that. But that was good. Coming out the block. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes, you have to be trained and equipped or you jump before time. That's really good. Um, and that's what you don't want to do. You want to be right on time. And when you spend time with the Lord, he'll be right on time. He'll put you in the right on time place. The young lady's name is Shikari Richardson. She is officially the fastest woman in the world um, at the 100 meter title at 2023 track and field world championships. She won with a time of 10.65 seconds. Just like the story you told, if she had a given up because everybody was talking about this Jamaican woman. She had yellow hair, the, the woman that she was running against out of all the women. And then they, you know, tallied them down. And if she had to paid attention to that, she probably wouldn't be the world's nothing. So to God be the glory. So that's real good. So now I'm going to go with Minister Elizabeth. Greetings to the Heavenly Father. Greetings to Apostle Dex and Lady Prophetess Hope Hall and everybody in their respective places. My God, I'm going to just tell you, that was a powerful, powerful word. Um, I, I remember when I ran track too, and there, what I picked up, um, the revelation I got is like, take your track shoes off. And I'm so grateful that God bust me out of the blocks from what I was dealing with and what I was up against and when my back was against the wall, that he always found a way to bring me out of every situation. And even when I wasn't feeling so hot and wanted to give up and wanted to throw in the towel, but God still blessed me out those blocks and brought me to where I'm at now and placed my feet on solid ground. And I have peace now. I can just walk around with peace. I have joy in my soul just by leaning and depending on his word and just standing on the word of God, you know, and knowing that his word is true. So I'm so grateful for what he has done for me in these last evil days and in this hour itself. When I was under attack, the Lord still bust down the blocks and say, no, you're not staying there. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out now. And I'm just so grateful for that. So thank you for allowing me to share. Hallelujah, hallelujah, what a word. Man, this has been awesome. Yeah, peace and joy, that's that's your result. When you finally give it to God and stop trying to operate things yourself and stop holding on to stuff, then you'll get your peace and, and you will get a peace that surpasses all understanding. 
Uh, glory to God. She, I think she got knocked off. Uh, hold on one second. Glory to God. Yeah, so, and, and you said something else, um, uh, Minister uh, Terrence, about studying it, too. You got to study. We got to study that thing. Because you can be disqualified if you're not careful. You can be disqualified. You can get to the kingdom. You can get to the gate. And he says, I never knew you. Nobody wants to hear that. I'm waiting to see if she comes back in. Let's see. Um, yeah, so that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to be disqualified. Uh, this was really, really, really good. And um, if uh, if David Hannah realized that God was in charge, he would have disqualified himself to beat the giant. He would have wore that super heavy um, armor that they tried to put on him, and he would have got pummeled. I don't know where she is, and I really well, I want her to let me see. Y'all give me a quick second. Okay. No, there, there she go. She's back. Okay. Praise the Lord with that pretty smile. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so uh, I hope that makes sense to y'all what I'm saying. Glory to God. So study and show yourself approved will be the scripture to come with that. Uh, so I'm going to go with um, Sister uh, Ta Taisha. Blessing. Blessing. Uh, I do apologize. There's a lot of noise in my background right now, but it was a beautiful word and I'm just sitting here feasting off of it. All right. Feast away. <laughs> to God be the glory. Sister um, Minister Tanisha. Good evening. I enjoyed the word. What an awesome word. Amen. To God be the glory. Sister Johanna. All right, amazing work. Woman of God, you're going to break. That's going to break. You are not today, unless you got background issues. <laughs> to God be the glory. Uh, Sister Minister Jacqueline Bailey. Before she speaks, uh, Johanna, you're going to come out the blocks. How about that? Ma'am. The minister Jacqueline Bailey. <laughs> ah. Man, I'm um, giving honor to God, Apostle Dads, Prophet's Hope. Ah, my sister, Evangelist Talia. My God, that today, your message was amazing. It was powerful. And, um, it spoke whew, so much, so much, so much, so meaty. Um, it, it reminds me of a conversation that I was having with my niece while I was driving uh, from work. And <laughs> it's, um, it's crazy because she was talking to me about a dream that she had and then um, just her friends that she's been hanging around and things like that. And she was you know, every year she's uh, since she's been in college, she's had this different, these different type of friends she's been around. And then something always has happened to where she she loses these friends uh, for some reason. They don't like her. They start talking about her, things like that. And with this, um, you're saying come out of the block and she's wondering, like, why I'm still why am I going through this continuously every year? And. That's just like staying in that block. You're going through a different cycle, the same cycle. Every single year, you stuck. You're not coming out of it. And I had to tell her, I was like, well, maybe you need to sit back and evaluate yourself because it might not be them. It might be you. You're the reason why you're stuck and keep going through this cycle over and over again. 
So, um, and that was something that we was just talking about. And, um, you know, you're, you're your own. And sometimes you can be your own worst enemy. Your flesh can be your the enemy, basically, that's keeping you from moving out the place and out of this particular place and moving forward into the things of God. When you're saying, I want this to happen, you know, in your life, you want to be elevated even more in God, but you're not doing, you're not putting in the work to get to that place. You're not putting, you're not worshiping, you're not praying, you're not going deeper in God, you're not saturating in him, you know, but, but you're saying, God, I want this, but what are you giving God? You're not giving him anything. You're just sitting in this, this one place like you say, you're at the you're running this race, but you haven't moved. <laughs> you're running this race, but you 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 still haven't moved. You're sitting in the same place. So therefore, everybody else is is ahead of you, and you're wondering why you're not getting anywhere because you haven't came out that block. And see, I'm not one. I didn't. I'm not a sports. I I didn't do sports. I didn't run track or anything. But uh. When she said come out of the block, I knew exactly what she was talking about, you know, and um, that's like just being stuck and you're stag you're stagnant, basically. You're stagnant. So, yeah. And um, like I say, with my niece, I had had a conversation with her wondering why she can't keep a group of friends around her, why everybody's turning on her and things like that and I just had to remind her look you're going through this cycle every single year this is it. we've come back to this same conversation so why don't you sit back and evaluate yourself because they're they're the reason why you're stuck in this same spot every single year and not growing and um so yeah this this word was powerful and um I got some nuggets myself that I'm gonna I'm gonna take and 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 eat on you know, and, um, so yeah, yeah, and that give it to God, and don't pick it back up, that was something that, that was so powerful for me, and like, um, and I can, I can just go back to this conversation that I had with her, you know, I told her it was so many things that she has gotten free from it, even myself, I can say, that, you know, you went to the altar, you gave this thing to God, he's delivered it from you. But guess what? When that familiar spirit comes back around, you pick that thing right back up. And guess what? You end right back up in the place that he's delivered you from. And this time it's worse than where when you came out of it. So guess what? You may be you may have gotten halfway to the finish line. But then here come this this obstacle, this familiar spirit that came in your way. And guess what? You got pulled all the way back to the start line just because you didn't you didn't do what was necessary to get past that. You didn't do what was necessary to push past that familiar spirit and shut it down. So guess what? You got yourself stuck back into the block. <laughs> so, yeah, this was amazing. Evangelist Talia. And uh, <laughs> I'm just going to I'm going to I'm going to sit on this for the rest of the weekend, I think. <laughs> Uh, so yeah blessings to you woman of God you did awesome 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 amen to God be the glory well last but not least apostle are you available I guess he's not. He is still at work. Um, so y'all got me. <laughs> and so he's still at work. And I'm sure that um, he's very proud of Evangelist. Um, he put a couple of notes in the in the chat. So uh, I'm sure you'll hear from him. Evangelist Talia. Boy, this was just so amazing. And um, you write... Um, Mr. Jacqueline, you, your flesh can be your worst enemy. And you're always talking about the devil when your flesh can rise up a whole army against God. Yeah, it can. And um, that's a whole problem. 
that's a whole problem. So if you choose to walk in that space, if you choose to walk in anger, if you choose to walk in um, whatever it is that you got going on, again, that's idolatry, rebellion against God and witchcraft. And so be very, very, very careful um, as to sitting with God and, and asking God to help you. Um, so what's stopping you from coming out of the blocks? That that's going to keep you from that's going to keep you from the kingdom, and we don't want that. Um, so you got to make some moves when it comes to the Lord. You got to ask Him, Lord, what do I do? How do I do it? And sometimes He'll give you something uncomfortable, but it's for your own good. If you say you love God and you trust Him, and He says, Well, I want you to call Sister Sarah, and I want you to tell Sister Sarah that Sister Sarah, I apologize for the way I acted towards you. Uh, three, four months ago, I've been holding this in. This is not good. I absolutely love you. Um, but I just had to tell you that. And, and you have an amazing day. You have a blessed day. Uh, God dealt with me. And now um, I have peace about it because I shouldn't have just held on to that that long. And I don't want to die and I don't want to be under the grave and I don't want God to come back. And I don't and I get left behind. Um, because I don't love, because I acted out of love. And so love is important. Love is important. Love, when you say you love God, that means you break all demonic and fleshly barriers in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. What you say? Staying in the blocks is no longer an option for you. Praise the Lord. That's a victory, y'all. So now we're going to go ahead and end this. If there's nothing else, glory to God. If Apostle Dexter happened to um, turn his mic off, I'll come back to him. But I want to give God a shout in, um, of glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just want to run around my house uh, just because I'm excited for what God is about to do. And those of you don't want to get left behind, you got to begin to say, I'll let this go. I'm coming. I'm no longer going to be stuck in the blocks. I'm going to begin to understand, God, that whatever you want me to do, though it may be hard for me, you have something for me. You have a reward for me. You have something. We have. A, a, you said you went to go prepare a mansion, and if it had not been so, you would not even tell us. Glory to God. You got to face your giants. Glory to God. And you don't want to be identified anything other than Jesus Christ. You don't want to be identified as always angry, always upset, always sad, always depressed. If you got them going on, seek your leaders. Glory to God. Uh, pretty much all of you on here, we're your leaders. If we're, if you don't want, if you can't come to us, then we're not your leaders. If you can't talk to us, you can't get leadership counseling. You don't want to get correction. You know all this stuff. You want to do what you want to do. Then, then you know we we not your leaders, but we will be your leaders until otherwise. <laughs> we. Still still going to pray for you. We're going to still love you. And we're going to love on you till that thing breaks if you're going through something. So, I mean, I've, I've uh, reached out to people and I'm like, look, don't stay in the dark place. Come on, come to the light. Come in. Let us talk about this. Don't, don't somebody pass away. Don't stay right there. Glory to God. I know it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. And it can take a little while for you to kind of get through it and get past it. But don't let it be your, don't let you end up in the grave next to them. Mm -hmm. And you end up in the grave next to them. And how are you going to explain to the father that you died because you love them so much and he taught love and he's going to say, that's not the love I talked about. That's not the love to sit in darkness. It's not the love to sit because somebody hurt your feelings. You know him or you don't. And so to the replay viewers, to God be the glory, I pray that something in here have he'll make you understand that he's already made your crooked path straight, that he's already busted the door, bronze doors down. He's already cut open the, uh, like he did with Paul and Silas. He opened them up. He broke the chains. You see them crying because they ended up in prison. Not only did they end up in prison, they got beat up. But they continue to praise. 
They continue to glow. They didn't. They didn't sit there and go, "Oh, they beat me. I can't stand them. I hate their guts because they they hurt me. I'm bleeding. There's some stupid people or whatever." Glory to God. They didn't do that. Y'all, it must be more people because I see people leaving, but my screen wouldn't move. So I apologize to those who had to leave, but. They did. Instead, they praised and they worshiped. Evangelist Talia said it. You think because praise and worship feel like it ain't working for you? Well, you need to work a little harder. And you need to let him have it and you need to let go. To God be the glory. And so now that we're in this before the prayer, remember the blood still works on Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's tomorrow. Uh, it is no longer on Roku, but it is on the link. And I like to try to put that link up. I think I want to put it up a little bit sooner uh, because it happens so quickly and you can miss it um, on my page or pages and in the in the room. Um also, we have um, Wednesday night Bible studies uh, is getting ready to change to 715. I forgot the date because we've been back and forth about the date, but I know for December uh, that's going to happen. We're not going to have Bible study during Thanksgiving week, nor will we have services. These were preempted. Hallelujah. Before uh, we are where we are and we will we will go back on next year and when we are overflowing. Glory to God, we'll be able to do um, have Thanksgiving services. So y'all enjoy it. We this is our we will have church this Sunday, but it's the following Sunday. That's the Thanksgiving week Sunday. Um, we're also going to have New Year's Eve, but it's not going to be New Year's Eve midnight. Uh, we have too many people who drive too far and we get through and they're going to be nice and sleepy to God be the glory. Thank you for putting that up. November 29th. We will start our 715 Bible study. Remember, write that down, y'all, so you don't get confused. And uh, uh, somebody else I know who write an alarm for an alarm, pick an alarm for alarm, and alarm for that alarm. I ain't going to say no name to God be the glory. Hallelujah. She's probably laughing at me right now. So, um, yeah, so 715 on the 29th. Um, but our we won't have Bible study Thanksgiving week. Um <laughs> See you tall on yourself. We won't have church that week either. Uh, also, Christmas Eve week, I think we will not have service then. Um, but New Year is going to have regular service. Um, the, the midnight takeover, surrender everything. It's going to be amazing. And um, to God be the glory. We're probably going to bring our blankets again so that we can just lay before the Lord. But it's going to be um, spectacular. Um, the thing that I say, been saying is not a New Year's resolution, but a New Year's surrender because he's already he's already resolved everything. Like when she said, made your cricket pass straight. Hallelujah. He's already resolved it. So now you need a new year surrender. You need to surrender everything. Surrender your children to him. Surrender your bank account to him. Surrender your home to him. Surrender your hurt to him. Surrender your pain to him. New year surrender. When you surrender all of that, I guarantee you, you'll get into your resolution and you will be resolved and God will resolve you in everything that you do because you trust him. God cannot fail. God is a God of impossible things. He is possible. He is possibility. Glory to God. And I prophesy over your life and a favor, favor of a supernatural favor. What you think God can go to do better. Uh, every time my husband goes to the mail, uh, well, not every time, but a lot of times like, man, you get my check in the mail. Well, we was in Spring Hill, a check came. Glory to God. I told my baby, uh, check in the mail. A couple of days ago, a large check came into the mail. That's believing that God can do. He can do what he says he can do because he's able. He is able. Glory to God. And so I think those are all the announcements that we have. Uh, make sure y'all invite people to come to Bible study, please. Put it out there. We just we need to see prayer life ministries everywhere, y'all. 
We need to see it everywhere. Um, you got cards and gifts. Take those cards and pass them out to people and tell them to come because God is doing a miracle sign and wonder. And this year going to be bigger, better, greater, and more powerful. This is a year of favor. Hallelujah. This is your year of favor, but you got to walk in that favor. You can't just say, I'm going to reach for the favor and get it. You got to walk and spend time with him to get that favor, overflowing favor, pressed down, shaking together and running over in the name of Jesus. So to God be the glory. We thank you. We thank you. And we thank you. Um, is there anything else? Because we won't have Bible study on the 22nd. That's next Wednesday. And so um, let me make sure there's nothing to make sure he didn't text me anything, any other notes. Nope. And y'all, please listen to that prayer. Uh, if you, um, I, don't, I see all prayer life ministry people on here. I don't see anybody else. But please listen to that prayer that I put in there for Monica. Begin to pray, God. I mean, begin to pray for her, y'all. Um, even stronger because no matter what she's been through, she is not giving the devil his due at all. When it comes out of her mouth, she said, I know the devil is trying it, but most of the things come out of her mouth, I know God can do it. And she believes that God can do it. She was like, can you just get them to bombard heaven for me to come with me? And so that's why I put that in there and y'all go ahead and read it. Glory to God. Okay, thank you. Glory to God. Y'all go ahead and, and listen to that. It's 27 minutes long, but it's worth it. If you want your healing, I need you to reach for that too because it's, it's all about the bodily function. It's about going in and doing a major operation from the head surgeon. Glory to God. Oh, okay. Well, give me one second, woman of God. Um, We're going to do Thanksgiving outreach, y'all. So it's going to be uh, me. Apostle and uh, Minister Jacqueline, if anybody, I know y'all come far, but if y'all want to come, y'all got to let us know, um, but we're just doing it, and so y'all just pray for us while we're doing it. Um, we're going to have, I think, uh, collard green um, macaroni and cheese, um, uh, cornbread stuffing, I mean, stuffing, cornbread dressing, excuse me, um, and um the cranberry sauce and bottled water and and prayer. We're going to pray with them um, as well as we pass out this food. We're going to pray and bless them in Jesus' name. So we're just going to be random. Um, my husband's already seen spots, and we're going to go in those spots, and we're going in with the glory of God that it'll change one of their lives, that they'll come out of that place uh, into a better place in him. In Jesus' name. Woman of God, um, is it Tanisha? Is that who I saw that wanted to tell the testimony? Or Taisha? There's so many T's in here. Terrence, Taisha, Talia, and Tanisha. Is it you, Tanisha? Yes, good evening, everybody, again. Hey. I just wanted to share a quick testimony. Um, God been getting on me because I supposed to been shared it. Um, I actually he actually wanted me to. Um. Well, I wasn't. I didn't. I haven't been to church uh, lately, and I want. He wanted me to actually share in church, but this is church. We have a Bible study, so it's pretty much the same thing. So, um, it relates to um, my health. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, maybe like three years ago, um. I was going to like, just to get my regular checkup and, um, uh, like three years ago and, um, uh, uh, there was some, um, at, uh, some abnormal cells being found, um, that was, uh, a possibility of causing cancer. And, um, I think I shared it with you, Prophetess Hope, but I, you know, I'm not going to go into detail, but I shared it with you, Prophetess Hope, I don't know if you remember but um, God did uh, told he spoke to me to share my testimony. Um, so there were some abnormal cells uh, for the past three years uh, when I was getting my normal women's checkup or whatever. And um, they was telling me, oh, it's a possibility if it doesn't go away, it can cause cancer, it can spread, blah, 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 whatever, if the cells don't go back to normal. 
So I was I was a little I was a little I'm not gonna tell a story. I'm not gonna lie about it. I was concerned, I was worried, but God had me in a place of He had me in a place of stand before him. He said, I want you to just surrender your all to me. I want to get I want you to no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, don't make that your idol. Don't make that your don't don't make that your idol. I want you to just surrender to me and um and and get out of the place where you are and I want you to move forward and just worship me and not making your worries and concern of this world your idol so he dealt he dealt he been dealing with me he's still dealing with me he's still working on me and I give him the glory for continually working on me and through me um so past and those three years so the next year came because it was like um it's a possibility it can go away in two years. They can get back normal. If not, if they don't go away in two years, it can get worse. It can do la la or whatever. So I just was trusting God through the whole process. So I was going. It was like, just come and continue to get your normal checkups or whatever. And I was going. And as next year, I went. It was still some abnormal things. And I was still worried. I was like, oh, Lord, God, it's the second year. They said it's the second year. And God said, what did I tell you, daughter? What did I tell you? He said, that's your problem. Now you be so caught up and worried about the concerns of this world, your problems, your issues. Stop making it your idol and just trust, lean, and depend on me. I was like, okay, God, help me. Just help me, too. Just help me. I said, oh, God, just help me. So the third year came. I said, okay, it was close for me to time, you know, to get my um checkup done again. The third year came and, you know, and after God was speaking to me, I was like, okay, God, I'm going to trust you. And I started digging into my world more, praying and, and trusting God. and Because I know that the key to everything is worship and, and stand before God and building your relationship with him. No matter your situation and circumstance, you have to keep pushing, pushing through your praise and your worship and your studying and your fasting. And, you know, no matter how you may feel, you just got to stay before God. And, and I'm starting to realize how important that is in my everyday walk with God, how important it is to stay before God and, and, and on my face and studying my word and spending that time, finding time to spend that time. So I, I was in that place and I said, okay, God, no matter what time I wait, I was, I was up against a lot. I was like, Lord, this time, this time. And then Lord, I'm already dealing with, I'm already worried about my health or whatever. God, you got to get these cells back to normal. And um, and I always I started eating healthy and everything. I started eating healthy. Well, I always ate healthy, and I don't think that really had nothing to do with why it was abnormal. Maybe God was just trying to get my attention to 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 spend more time with Him and stay before Him. And I started doing that, and I'm still doing it, and I'm still doing it as much as I can, as much as possible. Uh, so uh, the third year came, and it was time for me to get another checkup, and that was just. I just did another checkup recently and um uh they I I had no wait did they call me or did I check they um no I checked it I checked my results or whatever and I was a bit confused I was like wait it said does this say um because my results said uh there's no abnormal cells or something blah 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 I'm like wait a minute is it no more app? No, I'm like, is it? I'm like, does it, did it, does it really say this? So God said, you better believe what I said. So I was still, I was like, okay, let me call my doctor to make sure. God said, if it, it says what it says, and don't try to change what it says, you heal. I was like, okay, I believe it. I just want, I said, God, I just want to make sure that it's like, they gone, gone, gone. And I, and I, and they back to normal. And I called my doctor and I left the voicemail. They called me back. And they, they was like, yeah, yeah, you know, more abnormal cells. You're back. It's gone. It's, it's gone or whatever. I said, oh, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So, oh, my God. I'm just so grateful because, I, oh, my God. that it, it blessed me. I was like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. So I wish my sister Monica was on the phone and maybe that would have probably been a blessing to her knowing that God is still in the healing business. He is a healer. He is a healer. And I'm so grateful to be a part of the healing business. And I just had to share. Amen to God with the glory. If any of you are in a place where you could just come off mute for about two seconds, even if it's low, just say hallelujah. 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 That's it. 
That's it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Healer, healer, healer. Yes, he is. Uh, Yeah, healer, healer. He's a healer. To God be the glory. Yes, I remember. Because then we prayed that, uh, I think that second time, like last year, we prayed about it. And and the beautiful part, the miracle, or the great part about it, if you really look at it deeper, uh, Mr. Tanisha, it never turned into cancer. It never, even though they said it, it never turned into thing any more than just abnormal. That's that right. right. That's right. Yeah. It never turned to cancer. You're right. Yeah. So this is just on top of that. This is with the cherry on top. <laughs> this is what? Because, yeah, it never turned to that. And so when you had me to pray and you win, and you was like, they kind of, they say it's still there. I said, yeah, but it didn't turn into anything else but the abnormal sales. So I'm giving God glory for that. And Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So whipped cream on top. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. And there now they're no longer there. Hmm. That's it. Walk in, walk in it, walk in it, walk in it. That's good. Thank you so much for that testimony. That is a good place to end tonight. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Jesus. And so I am going to pray us out. I think that is all the announcements that I had to make, but this is a very huge announcement. So everybody begin to walk in your healing. You heard her say that she had to learn how to stay get with God. She had to stop making excuses and start doing it and, and really revealing it and start hearing what God is saying, that whatever her abnormality is in her life, that he already got it. That's already done. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So now that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and pray us um, out. Um, uh, Minister uh, Evangelist Talia uh, with the prophetic voice. Thank you so much for tonight. It was amazing. I got so much out, out of it. It was so powerful. Um, and so you got to speak over your life to demolish everything that's not like God. Demolish. Y'all know what demolish means. <laughs> to totally head note, cancel it in Jesus' name. So um, Evangelist you, do you have uh, any final words? Uh, Brother Terrence, you got something? Or you just no, I, I, I was just um, agreeing with you. Destroy everything. That demolish word. Oh, yeah. 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 Everything. That's why it's so powerful that we're calling it midnight um, and, and surrender everything. Midnight takeover. Okay. That's all you need to say. Thank you. Okay. Uh, did you want to say something else, Brother Tom? Okay. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this voice. We thank you for the voice on tonight, God. We glorify your holy and righteous name, Lord, for you are a wonderful and a mighty God. There is none like you, O oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for every testimony that's in here, God, and every testimony that is to come. We thank you for the miracles and signs and wonders that are activating in their life, God. We thank you that they're connected to Prayer Life Ministries International, that their prayer life, God, will be a normal, will be a normal um, uh, exciting new life habit their prayer life the worship the praise will break everything father in the name of jesus lord help them to come out of the blocks help them to study how to come out of the blocks so that you can show them exactly how to put their feet in there you can show them exactly how to bend down you can show them exactly how to prepare their mind before they even take off lord we thank you lord that, that you will even equip them father to go into a 
great speed and stay in whatever lane you put them in, God, until you tell them to shift. Father, we call a shift right now in Jesus' name. We call a shift in the woman of God, Evangelist Talia. We thank you, Father, because every day God is doing something major in her life. Lord, we thank you that you pour back into her everything that she has poured out, God. Lord, we thank you that she stepped out of the that she stepped out of the blocks. She came out of the blocks. She came She came out of the blocks prepared to win this thing, not looking at those things behind her, not looking at things around her like Peter did in the name of Jesus and yet looking at the man of God, looking at Jesus, the man, looking at Holy Spirit to move in her, looking at the prize to the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you that this word came forth and it was a mighty word, Lord, that they will not be afraid of their giants, Lord, that they will pursue their giants because they know that God is with them. When David asked David, why are you doing something so crazy? He said, it's not crazy. It's God. So now it's time in the name of Jesus to step out in the name of Jesus. Make crazy your footstool. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We thank you, oh God. Father, we thank you for the testimony that has come through. Father, that she is continually being uh, strengthened in this hour. She's continually being healed and anything else that she may even encounter. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you keep your blood upon the woman of God in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on every voice, every, every vocal cord that is located in this building, that is operating right now in this place. Lord, we thank you that they'll become the body of Christ like none other. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you that we will reach higher realms. Hallelujah, Jesus, that we will seek your face, God, and that we will work into the spirit man and not the flesh man. Today, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name as we call flesh to the grave. Glory to God uh, and rise up in you, God. Let your presence begin to surround us uh, and any listening viewer, God, that may hear this word, uh, that may hear this prayer. God, step into their home, God. Loose them, God, of all in enemy action in the name of Jesus. And every assignment uh, that's been sent to the uh, replay hearer or the right now that, I'm, that are looking at me, that are praying with me, Lord, we cancel the assignment of the enemy on their life. Uh, and Lord, Lord, we call them to be strengthened like never before. Lord, we glorify your holy and righteous name uh, that today as we join together, hallelujah, to de destroy and demolish uh, the word of the enemy, uh, the ruler of this earth, to know that we reach to the prize, our overseer, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, come in and begin to burn new things in them, God. Burn new things in them, God. Burn new uh, businesses in them, God. Burn Burn new health in them, in them, God. Burn new wine skin in them, God. Burn new happiness and joy in them, oh God. Burn new, burn the lack out, God, and give them an overflow, God. That the vat shall overflow in oil. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, oh God, as we are reaching the week of Thanksgiving, God. But we should be thanksgiving you every single day, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, but Lord, when we join together with our families. We must remember to give you thanks because there are people out there less fortunate than we are. There are people out there that are mentally disturbed and they're in a homeless place because they're mental issues. But we begin to pray over their mental issues. We uproot every mentality that think they have to be poor. We cut, We uproot the mentality of a poor mindset. We uproot the mentality of we can't, we can't get money. We can't, uh, we can't, um, earn any money hallelujah glory to god but god wants us to be rich but not root of money love in the mighty name of jesus so i decree and declare over their lives that they are millionaires and kingdom millionaires and kingdom accessors that they will access the kingdom oh god that they will take their pebble and shoot it right in the middle of the giant's forehead and then they'll take the enemy's sword and cut his head off in the name of jesus and they will come out of the blocks because they have now been equipped to do what they need 
to do uh, to become victorious. Uh, Lord, let them be in a mindset of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we thank you, oh God. Uh, Lord, that you made their crooked path straight, God, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, that you give them a clean heart that they can serve you, oh God, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, give them new discernment when they see the enemy coming. Uh, they're already ready. Uh, they're already ready to take on the devil uh, in the name of Jesus because they know they have praise and worship in their back pocket uh, and they have praise and worship in their heart. Uh, they have the cross of Jesus on their back uh, that they will take up the cross and follow God. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus uh, for you are mighty, wonderful, and amazing. Even right now, uh, while I'm speaking, uh, under my breath, uh, there's fire coming to someone right now. Uh, there's a new fire coming to you right now. There's a new breakthrough coming in your healing, uh, in your blood cells, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, God is sitting you and sitting you in the uh, alignment of heaven, uh, uh, in earth as it is in heaven. Uh, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, we shall fear no evil uh, because thou art with us, God. Your rod and staff, they come to comfort us uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, oh God, to press in, God, to the mark of the high calling in the holy and mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, as leaders, God. Continue to cover us. Send your wings around us, God. Let us remain in humbleness. Let us remain in righteousness. Let us continue to teach the word, God. Let us continue to rightly divide the word, God. Let us continue to, to do what we need to do, God. Hallelujah. To be pleasing to you as leaders, God, as shepherds of of your flock, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your holy and righteous name, for you are all knowing, all seeing, and everywhere, God. And so we give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Bless your holy name, Jesus. You are a wonderful, God. Go, God, in the name of Jesus, and send every angel, God, that that you can, God, to surround their homes, uh, to go into their homes, uh, to, to watch them at midnight uh, when the evil is uh, lurking around. Uh, Lord, send angels of strength, uh, angels of joy, angels of overflow, angels of favor, angels of um, glory. Hallelujah. Sit in their homes, God, to watch over them, God. We thank you, oh God, uh, for you are mighty and wonderful in the name of Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We thank you. Until we meet again, Lord, never take your presence from us. Let us not leave your presence, God. So, Father, we thank you and we give thanksgiving to you. Let them, God, have a safe holiday and a giving holiday. Though our holiday of giving should be every day. Give, make them cheerful givers, Lord Jesus. Increase them. Enlarge their territory. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Hallelujah and amen. To God be the glory. We love you all. Y'all have an amazing um, Thanksgiving. And don't, don't look like a turkey when you get through eating your turkey. <laughs> We love you, Apostle Dexter and Lady Prophetess Hope Hall. We love you. We love you. We love you. God bless you and have an amazing night. Good night, Lady Moore. Good night.